What's going on everybody? I finally got my hands on the Pixel 6. Now I had this for a few days and I was going to make a review video, but let's be real, there are tons of them out there. They're mostly camera focused and I don't really want to do that. What I am going to do instead is the features that are available on the Pixel 6. Now I'm going to include some Android 12 features in general because let's be real, there aren't an insane amount of Pixel 6 features. They're mainly Android 12 features, but there are some Pixel 6 features or features that are just in regards to an actual Pixel. Let's get started with the natural language processing. You go to the Google keyboard and simply click on the mic and dictate. Say whatever you want and it will pick it up almost nearly perfect. Let's just take a look at the recorder app and try this out. This is probably an incredible feature just from Google. I'm here just talking as fast as I can and I'm slowly going to talk faster and faster and faster and see how fast it reacts. I'm actually just coming up with words as I speak. I feel like I can rap pretty, pretty quickly and Google will be able to keep up. This is actually incredible considering the fact that it's doing punctuation as well. Holy moly, it's going faster than I can possibly ever type or even come up with words. This is pretty impressive considering the fact that this is happening on your phone right now. It's not being sent to the Google server. It's just being computed on the phone with the Tensor chip and it's pretty darn perfect. Now let's take a look at the translation feature. You have somebody that's messaging you in a different language. All you have to do is click on the translate and simply type your message and Google will instantly on the fly translate your message and you're good to send it. This is pretty impressive because back in the day, you would have to copy and paste the message into Google Translate just to understand what everybody's saying. But now you don't have to do that anymore. I'm just dictating what I want to say to the phone and the message is translating in real time. While we're on the subject of translation, all you have to say is, hey, magic word, open interpreter, and it will open an interpreter inside your phone. All you have to do is select the language and just speak and Google will automatically translate it back and forth, wait for the other person to continue with his response and the Google translator is smart enough to translate it back to the language that you understand. Again, this is a super impressive feature. It brings the worlds together. You can go travel, use this feature, or you have somebody coming over that does not understand what you're saying. You can just pull out this app and easily understand each other. The only camera feature I want to cover is the native camera app in other applications. While it's not supported yet for every single application, this is going to be huge, especially when it comes to the receipt scan. And now let's move on to other features that are available for other Pixel phones, such as continued conversations. Basically what that allows you to do is have a continued conversation with Google. So you say the magic word and then Google will respond to your question. And then from there, you can ask it another question or even a follow-up question on the question that you've already asked. Damn, that was a lot of question words, but that's how it works and it's pretty cool. I personally enjoy that feature because it allows me to ask Google more questions. And then once I'm done and I want to complete, I just say thank you and Google understands that I'm done with the assistant. Now this to me is a killer feature. When you're on the line calling your credit card company, CRA, IRS, whatever it is, you have a hold for me option. This is incredible. It will stay on hold for you until a representative is available and then it will notify you that the call is ready and you can return to the call. How is that for making them wait instead of you? Another one is the screen call. This is incredible because I don't know about you, but I get eight to nine spam calls a day. All I have to do is push a button and Google will greet them and tell them, hey, the person you're calling is using a screening service, blah, 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 blah. Please state what you're calling for. And then if there is a person on the other line, they basically will speak to the assistant and then you'll see the translation right on the spot. It's almost live and it's very impressive. And then you can decide whether you want to hang up the call or take the call. Screenshots have been improved on the Android 12 operating system and thank God for that because Samsung had this feature for quite a while. Basically, once you select a screenshot, all you have to do is click capture more and then you're able to capture all the messages or whatever you're trying to capture in one shot instead of a hundred different shots. Keep in mind this doesn't work on all applications, but I'm pretty sure as Android 12 is out for longer, it will be more supported for other applications as well.
Taking care of your battery health is now easier with Google. All you have to do is search for adaptive charging and switch that on. What adaptive charging does is based on your alarm clock, it will charge the phone slowly that by the time your alarm clock rings, you have a full charge. Ever heard a song and you're like, ah, what is that song? What is that song? Well, all you have to do is search for it now playing. Google will start listening and as soon as a song or it recognizes a song is being played, it will keep a record of every single song you hear. I don't know about you, but I kind of enjoy that feature a lot. And that way I don't have to go, you are my fire, the one desire. Saving both your ears and mine. Google Lens is one of those features that's probably not used a lot, but incredibly useful. You can almost take a picture of anything. Google will look up at their database and they will match it, whether you want to purchase it, whether you want to know what the plant is or whatever the case is. It's a super cool feature. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. Peace.